What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, I could not wait to bring this video to you. This is absolutely awesome and I stumbled on this by total accident. All right, I want you guys to see this. This is pretty cool. I'm going to show you how I stumbled upon it because it was just a photo I was looking at. Um, and every now and then I go on Facebook and I see what everybody's finding out because they're doing a great job of this, right? Anyway, Ivan Augustin, he had seen these anomalies and then posted it. It says right here, almost erased heads, one shadow, look at the eye with the rims in the center. Now, the cool thing about this thing is that when you look, you can see like different pieces here, right? You got, it looks like almost, to me, this looks like almost like a half a face has been going right here near the arrow and it looks like an eye with a, an eyebrow. Now, I'm not exactly sure that's exactly what he's pointing out. And over here at the very top, almost looks like two eyes, a nose and a mouth, but he's pointing down here. So I'm not exactly sure what he was pointing out, but any, anyway, they look like they're kind of standing out, like almost like they are, they're like eroded faces or something along them lines. But guys, to be truth with you, that's not what caught my eye. What caught my eye, remember I always tell you guys lines, lines, lines? Take your burn tool, dock in the lines, and a lot of times you'll see these objects come out, like the last video I just did. These lines will come out and they'll present themselves to you, the shape of whatever it is. Now you may not be able to see it uh, 100%, but you may get like an outline of something, right? What blew my mind is right here in the lower right corner. You see that? The lines that are in there? So I set out to check it out, right? And I'm going to show you guys where you can get this because this is cool. All right. So let me go up to here. Here it is right here. And I'm going to show you that a little bit better in a second. But I'll tell you what, if you're not familiar with petroglyphs, okay, petroglyphs are anything. A lot of these ancient civilizations and even civilizations like, you know, indigenous uh, people live in different islands. They'll draw and depict what they've seen, uh, basically storytelling. And, uh, you know, they just find they find it uh, uh, important to actually etch these things in stone because it's something of great importance to them. Right now, to us, it may not be because sometimes you just see these birds like up in this picture here. And it's going, OK, what's the big deal? Well, to them, it might have been a big deal. They got animals over here in this lower one fighting. You got a bunch of what looks like uh, mountain goats and stuff like that. Lizards and and these uh, other I'm not sure what these are. These could be anything from gazelles to deer to you name it. Right. Um, but anyway, you can see these petroglyphs. They're pretty darn cool looking, right? Well, this is what we've seen. I like this one here. This is a space petroglyph. That's actually pretty funny right there. Uh, but anyway, let me show you the one. <laughs> this is neat. One right here. And that's it right here. Now, I'm gonna, well, let me zoom in a little bit better. See if you guys can make heads or tails of this first. This is pretty cool. Let me go in a little bit further. And I'm going to just go to you know, Photoshop so you can actually magnify this and bring this in a whole lot more. Can you guys see if anything of importance in this in this photo? And at first I'm going, okay, they're just lines. Let me just go ahead and dock in the lines, see if anything pops out of this thing, right? I was blown away. You can find it here again in Neville Thompson's Giga Pan. Thank you, Neville, for your work. Um, and again, this is where you can see Ivan's work right here. Again, right here on the left. Let me go ahead and just blow this photo up a little bit here. You can see that one right here. Almost looks like a half a face here. And something way up here. It almost looks like this was the two eyes. Almost like a head and stuff like that. But I could be wrong. I mean, he might have been pointing something out. It looked like it was a little bit lower than that. But needless to say, guys, I can tell you just the way this thing is fudged around, this is no mountain. Trust me. And these might have been statues of some sort. And they're just being, you know, just eroded, right? Again, here's the actual anomalies right here. Can you guys picture that? I can see this, and I, it totally blew my mind. And is, But I didn't know the scale of this thing until I really started to burn it, right? Okay, if you guys haven't figured this out, watch this. <laughs> this is cool. It's absolutely neat. Let's jump into Photoshop. All right. Maybe you guys will see this a little bit better now. And I didn't even notice this back pot until later. I'm going to show you what I had first. Go like this. Now this is going to start to come together for you. Again, I'm just drawing the lines here, guys. Because I can see them pretty darn well.
This part here is intricate. I'm not sure what the hell this thing is or why that's things like this, but it's just bizarre as hell. Almost looks like an, a guy with eyes. I, I can't figure that out. But again, I'll tell you why. Maybe they're depicting. Guys see it now? Oh my God. And I didn't notice this back piece until not too long ago. Check this out. Okay, you guys figure it out? Pretty much, pretty simple, right? Airplane, man. Check this out. Here's the finished product right here. Now, I'm not sure what to make of this. It's almost like they were making like, like a person for flight or something like that. Check that out. I, To me, in all intents and purposes, this is an airplane. What this is on the top of it, I don't know. Maybe it's their fuselage or the way they built this thing. And look at the way the tail rotor is. You got the tail rotor here. And of course, you got the, uh, I can show you this right here. This is pretty cool. Uh, and this is from NASA itself. But you can see a vertical stabilizer. And then you get your horizontal stabilizer, which is the one I just showed you here, right here in the back. So your horizontal and you got your vertical. And a lot of times they have a, the rotor right here. So they can swing this thing back and forth to make it to steer the plane, right? And this one here is vice versa. This makes it go up and down. So... I'm just like, wow, what are we seeing here, guys? Two questions came to my mind. I said, okay, first of all, it's a petroglyph of an airplane. Clearly, it shows intelligent people on Mars. And then they're, you know, etching into stone what looks like an airplane, something we see here on Earth. And again, like I said, I can zoom right into this. It's in the photo, guys. There's no doubt about it. It's in the photo. You can see it right here going like this. Is the left, well, if you're from the back of the plane, it'd be your left wing. And then, of course, you got the other one going like this. Here's your right wing. Tail rotor. You got the other, the flaps. The actual body, the fuselage. Really? Wow. This thing is cooler than hell. And I didn't expect that in a million years. Wasn't even looking for it. I just saw the lines laying on the ground. I'm just like, I don't know what that is, but okay. And um, and you can see, I'm going to tell you right now, guys. Let's go down here because I want to... I want you guys to see this right here in this corner. There's something hidden. You can see it right here. I'm not sure if it's part of another etching or if that's something else that they just blended into uh, this ground. You can see where they try to get rid of it and it's just kind of faded away. But after burning the lines and guys, I'm being totally truthful with you. I just kind of just started just burning that area. In fact, I went over the whole thing. I was just kind of like doing this. I just started going like this, just scribbling. I said, whoa, 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 hold on a minute. Let me just trace the lines. I'm just kind of curious. And you can see the very faded lines right there. Right there in this photo, going like this. Coming down, right? And I was like, okay. And of course, you got this one here. And you can just see the wings. What are they drawing here, guys? It looks like a plane to me. Give me your thoughts. Here it is right there. I'm not sure what all this is in the middle, but that is funky looking. That is just absolutely insane. I thought that was pretty neat. <laughs> I, I, and I know there's more to this thing because you can see it right here. And I don't mean the, the actual petroglyph here, the plane. But whatever this is, there's something else on the surface. And it's been completely blotted out. Not sure what to make of that. And there's some other things. See, they, they make everything so light. And the contrast, uh, they can spot contrast things and just bring them way up. So you can't see either um, things that may be off the ground like the 3D part of it, or lines like this. Whatever the hell that thing is. And I love the way this thing is made because check this out. When you see the way this this piece is right here, and it looks like there's something pointy sticking out of the front of that thing. But what what are we looking at here, guys? Like I said, it's almost like we, you know, the pilots would sit and everything else on the top of this thing. And the way this thing is designed, I you know it's something very, very, it's like 99 or 95% what we would make here on Earth, except for this right here. And of course, you get the horizontal rotor right here. That's funky because we usually have them right here, right? We usually have them right here and stick it out the other side, not in the back of it, not way in the back like that. That's funky. That's what I thought was pretty neat because we don't make that kind of plane here on, on Earth. So what are we really seeing here? 
Is it just happened to be just lines in the rocks and they just come out looking like that? And they just, you know, just so happens to be like that? Or is this actually a petroglyph? I believe it is. And like I said, I totally stumbled on this by accident and it totally blew me away. And again, you can see the lines. I'm going to zoom in just a hair bit more. And I'm going to go back and forth. Pay attention to the lines you see in the photo. I'm just going to go a little bit. I think I went over here. You see, it goes, okay, here's a little lighter. This way you can see the lines. So it isn't, I don't want you guys to think there's extra lines there. I want you guys to see. So we're just going to go back to back and forth here. Look at any part of that photo. Those lines are there. They're absolutely there. You can see them down here. Coming like this here. See that? They're there. And then we can go all the way here. Funky as it may be, it's still a plane. But uh, maybe the propulsion, maybe that's what these things are right here. Maybe that's more of a jet engine coming out the back as opposed to, because I don't see anything else that has propulsion. What do you guys see? Do you see anything else? I don't see any engines on the side of this, on the wings. I don't see anything. Maybe the actual, uh, you know, propulsion is coming out of this unit right here on the plane. What do you guys think? What are you seeing? Like I said, guys, let me know. I think that thing is awesome, and it totally blew my mind. I couldn't wait to get this out to you guys. This is just awesome. Guys, do me a favor. Share the hell out of this video. Put it on Facebook. Put it everywhere you can. This stuff is neat. This is the kind of stuff that needs to get out, right? Share it. Like it. Give me a thumbs up. Always appreciate you guys know that. And most of all, drop your comments and thoughts below. Let me know what you're seeing here. Is it nothing more than just trickery? We just happen to be uh, a bunch of lines laying on the uh, on the rock and, you know, somehow they just, I don't know, just happen to look like an airplane? Or is it, do you believe that's what it is? A petroglyph showing like uh, depicting like flight up an airplane that shows flight leave your thoughts below anyway guys thanks for watching always appreciate it and i will see you in the next one